Hi Eddie, um, thanks for the quality of the videos, they're uh, way better than, than what I had uh, before. Um, there is a little bit of, you're a little bit unlucky there because from here to here we have no frames so I'm good, I mean I have a post impact and then it goes up to here in one frame so a bit, uh, bit of un uh, unlucky there and same here. I mean. From here to here, there's just one frame, so it's stealing us a few movements. But I mean, what I need to see is happening before, so no big deal. Okay, so um, there's a lot of things. I mean, you have a ton of potential. There's a lot of things that are really going good. Um, the setup is fine. Um, the grip is strong. So Fidel, if you see this, look at this radial bone here. And imagine its relationship um, in regards to the top of the grip here. So as you can see, it's more to the right. Uh, so that means the grip is strong enough. And I would advise you to go in this direction. Maybe not that far, but in this direction. Um, ED, your right hand is very strong. So when you see a shoulder, the right shoulder that's ex externally rotated, like if you see the, the, arm, the armpit here, if you really see it, perfectly means external rotation so that's in the strong side of things instead of here where it's a bit neutral more neutral and looking um, more left uh, this would be kind of weak this would be kind of strong um, the other thing that you can see that um, strengthen your grip is the right wrist position is flexed so that adds up a little bit of strength, of strength. And the, the last thing that you can imagine for grip strength is this. So the metacarpophalangeal joint, which is um, this one here. And this is on the side of the shaft. And for you, it is even almost under, under it. So that tells me it's a very strong grip. Um, that's not bad per se, because you're... I don't think uh, I don't see bad things that typically goes with it. Um, people who have way way too much strong grip tend to have a very early, uh, very late, sorry, uh, wrist bend, and it kind of messes up where with their uh, scapular movements. But that's not happening in you, so I'm good with that. Uh, if you want to weaken it just a smidge, uh, you you can for sure. Um, okay, the other things I see that are good uh, is um, the up move. It's a little bit um, overcooked though. The camera is stationary on this one, so uh, you're really gaining uh, like three inches there. So yeah, at least three, maybe four inches. So and your left heel just goes off the ground. I'm not against that, but in the same time. Uh, your left hip is staying in the ER, so basically the kneecap pointing there, so I'm not really good with it, especially with your kind of transition. So um, I would maybe tone that down a little. Uh, I already told you that you could uh, have, um, in the Fidel analysis, uh, I was saying that you were developing that lateral bend and then going up. I'm not sure you uh, worked uh, to correct this in the last week, maybe you did. Um, but the down the line view is kind of moving up and down all the time, so I cannot really al analyze this uh, particular movement. Uh, what I would like is this kneecap going more here. Uh, and you will understand why when I will show the transition moves from you. Um, okay. You're really doing a good job um, with the, the upper body. Um, Fidel, you can look at this. Uh, look what, especially here. So look where how he kind of keeps uh, a little bit of elbow flexion, and his elbow is almost looking at the target. So if we were to put a like a, a laser beam, maybe it will put slightly left of the target. But it's a good idea to have to try and have it pointing right and righter and right or right or more right. Um, of the target, so that means internal rotation of the left shoulder, and that gives you stability and that uh, delays the flip and the roll. So definitely good job there. Uh, the other thing that we can see that's good is that um, his right elbow is appearing uh, below the left uh, arm. That 
I mean, you can fake that by um, flexing the right elbow a ton, but that's not how you do that. Your uh, amount of right elbow bend is, is good, and what it tells me is that you have a good either uh, right lateral bend or a good elbow move, which is external rotation uh, of the right shoulder and transverse abduction. So it's moving against this over the top move. So again, good job. I modified the the the, the mic is here. I modified its position because I realized that when I go in the background, there is a hissing sound. So I really don't know where it's coming from. Uh, so sorry about that. I hope this is fixed. Um, okay, from from the down the line, yeah, you you, you will see that it, there is either an earthquake or the camera's moving. <laughs> so. It's, it makes uh, this up move difficult to interpret. Uh, so yeah, you can see how it's moving up and down, up and down, up and down. And in the downswing, it's kind of going back to its original position, and you can see how much dipping down there is there. And that's an indication of, of a move that you're doing, uh, you're not doing right. But uh, again, this uh, transition is for the upper body is really okay. I mean, this is really not what I would consider OTT. Um, this is okay and the elbow is moving in kind of in front of the right hip. This is a bit of an over exaggeration of a, a move and I'm, that's giving you this position so I would like to uh, interpret the elbow move when the hip movements are fixed because you can kind of fake the elbow move uh, and have the right elbow in front of the right hip because of hip movements and not because of proper torso movements so I'm not gonna um, go super elaborate on this but I'm gonna show you what's really missing in your swing uh, right now so yeah you're not OTT I mean the shaft is, is kind of uh, in, the, in the right position the face is not open um, but this is uh, too much so that means a, f a few things are not going right in your hips uh, again, we lose this part, so a little bit of a shame. Uh, I'm gonna uh, get your attention on this. Uh, the tip of the toes are way, way, way off the ground, and you're on the tip of the toe on the right foot. So this, this one on the right foot is not bad per se, but this um, is a bit too much. So I understand why you're doing that. You're trying to uh, have the more, the most depth you can here, uh, you and you're using basically no real second fire and uh, your hip flexion here is really up to its maximum uh, amount there's no way you can go deeper than that so I understand that um, but I'm gonna show you why you're creating moves like like this and yeah that's not really how it should be done so that's that will be almost my only advice but it's it's good. It it has major consequences for your swing. Um, okay, so even though yeah, I would like this to be more there. With that much of an up move, I would like to see internal rotation of the left hip, and that will be uh, helpful for the transition move instead of being hurtful. So here, that's where there is a problem. So. I'm going to show you it uh, this on the down the line. So take a look here. See how the heel is rotating, and it's putting your foot into a more and more flared position. You're already a little bit like so at address. So I would advise uh, a less flared left foot because it's encouraging the flaw. Um, but here, look at this. Okay, look at this first and then look at this angle. Okay, we can see that this is moving backwards, so it's kind of trying to have. Um, I mean, I realize you're trying to increase this angle, left hip flexion. This is happening, but this is a bit too much, and in my opinion, it's also the reason why this elbow gets 
in front of this right hip is because this right hip is moving way way backwards a ton of hip flexion in both hips and especially in the left so this and this is where it indicates me that there is a problem so we're going to get go back to the front view so okay this again look here you can see how how much this is happening this puts you into dual ER without pelvic rotation and that's that's really the problem um, see you are here here and you are not really rotated that much at this point see here the pelvis is all just neutral I mean it's just pointing there and that's a problem uh, to have this the knee the left kneecap pointing there without pelvic rotation it tells me that there is really something wrong so here here the kneecap is uh, as past the left ankle and the hip is is back which is not bad and this is kind of straight um, this tells me you're gonna have a very big trouble um, powering through impact because so first um, the amount of flexion is way way too much um, and I'm not even sure the right hip flex is uh, enough frankly because it, it looks like you're going I mean it looks like you're going that way and that way to create rotation so it's flexion and a ton of flexion here but at the same time uh, this hip is uh, keep keeping you from rotating so it's you're kind of like this with a very straight there and you have nowhere to go you if you were to uh, not be focused on the touch line and on depth and such and not go the full pattern and staying into uh, left hip flexion you would definitely extend up like there is nothing that left there you will you would lose all these good movements uh, but you're not doing that your body is intelligent enough to tell you that okay this is not giving in and I'm gonna go the full pattern there with the left hip flexing and and retention of the tooth line and trying to go there 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 and that's also a reason why we see uh, this left tip uh, left uh, tip of the toes going completely off the ground um, yeah this is really really where the problem is uh, occurring so the position that you need to try and, and have is you have to try and have a convex torso. I don't see. I don't see. I don't know if you can see this, but not straight up and down with um, the left kneecap going there, but kind of a uh, convex, com uh, bulging torso, trying to uh, be in the shape of a K. If you draw this, it kind of kind of shows a K, and have the left knee and the left ankle in a straight line and that will uh, indicate internal rotation of the left hip and that's not I mean people see this move as uh, hindering like decreasing your ro your rotation possibilities but no uh, you have tons of uh, left uh, hip internal rotation and your pelvis can rotate even though you do that so So yeah, try to have, I mean, instead of this, kind of straightish, uh, left kneecap going past, and then having nothing left instead of this, and because you're not doing this, you're choosing the other way of putting uh, the left hip back as, as much as possible. Uh, try to have this look. So left kneecap kind of wants to go there, and because the pelvis is rotating, you're not ending up there. I mean, there into massive internal rotation your pelvis is dragging the left kneecap but it, this, this kneecap doesn't want to go so in the end you look like this so tilted you have low left shoulder you have this convex position here and you have um, the hip the ankle uh, the, the kneecap and the ankle in a straight line and that's a proper position to then have all this uh, rotation left and second fire left uh, to use so I mean this here is 
is really what's uh, pr preventing you from uh, having a way better impact position and impact dynamics. You're already doing a really good job in the upper body. Uh, what's really missing is the, the lower body. So two advice. Try to have the kneecap point more here, like behind the ball. And then in transition, try to have this kneecap look there and the pelvis rotating there. And do not use, do not cheat rotation by saying, hey, okay, I'm just going to completely dip down on my um, left side with a, a ton of hip flexion because um, this just leaves you with this and it's not happening. So you just say, no, 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 I'm just going to try and, and stay there. And it basically gives you no second fire and the rotation is not uh, premium. So, yeah, here, get rid of this, get rid of this. If, if anything, um, the heel should be plant more closed and definitely not more flared out. Okay, that's it for this, this video. I'm not saying a ton of things because this is so major that it really needs to be number one priority. And... Um, you're doing such a great job in the upper body that I think it's going to take care of itself uh, when this uh, will move better. Um, anyway, I hope this helps and that it's sufficient. Um, that's really massive, and that's I mean, no you, no human can 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 produce premium impact uh, conditions and movements with this kind of left hip behavior. And uh, I'm sure you'll be able to to move on and correct this and, and have a ton of progress uh, ahead of you. Cheers.